Well, I know you saw that thumbnail and probably said, what is going on? He needs help. Is he begging for money or something? No, I'm not selling uh, prayer cloths or holy water or anything like that. But I'm kind of faced with a dilemma. It's a good dilemma in a way. So I thought I would share it with you guys because I know that some of you that's been following me for a while and some of you that are recently, I, I, even though we haven't met face to face, I know I just feel in my spirit that many of you are strong believers uh, and, and you stand with the Lord and we and we know um, that you have a relationship with them. And I, and I truly believe that, that a lot of you out there that have been following me, I, I truly believe that. And I want to ask for some wisdom for you guys out from you guys out there. And because what the dilemma I'm facing is um, I'm currently at my job. It will be 17 years in July at my current job. And I got like eight years left that I could take an early retirement if I want to. Um, but I've been night shift, um, like 10 to 6.30 for 16 of them years. Um, I'm still night shift. Uh, you know, I, I'm kind of weird, funky hours. 7.30 p.m. to 4 a.m. is my hours. So that's my hours, Sunday through Thursday. I've always been on the Sunday through Thursday. Well, I'll take that back. I Wednesday through Sunday. And then once I became a, a supervisor, I became um, Sunday through Thursday. But what I, I've decided, you know, my daughter graduates from pharmacy um, career center this um, Saturday and then the following week from high school. And then she's going to, we're going to launch her off to college. She's going to Case Western, uh, the medical school there, and um, and and it's and I've been praying about it, and and it's a transition time for me. Um, I've applied for a few jobs, and this one in particular is a chaplain job. Now I tell you, I've done a chaplain internship many years ago, but I don't know for some reason I applied for this chaplain job again. Now that I know that. The responsibilities, I'm basically going to be an empty nester, and the responsibilities will be different now. And I said, you know, maybe it's time, you know, because this, you know, when you work nights and, and the type of work I do and things, it wears you down. Um, I'm not a baby no more. Uh, and I need to, um, you know, fulfill some of the things that I want to do, dreams while I still have breath in my body that I've put on pause. Um, to raise my kids and get them over the finish line there. So long story short, I applied for this chaplain job thinking, and I told the Lord, I said, because it was already going to be a pay cut. I already knew that based upon the description. And I told the Lord, I said, keep that job far away from me. Please don't even let them, you know, open the door for me, Lord. I was asking, keep it closed. Then I get an interview. So I'm like, okay. So I go to the interview, this and that. And then they call me back for a second interview. And I'm like, okay, God, come on now. And in the midst between the first interview and the second interview, there was another position, a newly created position with my current, uh, where I work at here for a uh, uh, community uh, coordinator. It's kind of like you're, you're with the fire department. You're going to kind of deal with people in crisis. It'll help me utilize some of my counseling stuff that I've had, my mental health counseling. You kind of like get help people with services and uh, kind of like a social work, but without, the, you know, operating in the licensure of that. Um, but it's a newly created position. And I've gotten called. Uh, they're interviewing six people. And that's like Friday. And I need to make a decision on this chaplain job. I told her, you know, I call her maybe Tuesday or so. Um, I'm leaning towards the chaplain job just because I know I, I, I just in my spirit, you know, I, I am a minister for one. I mean, not my spirit, but, you know, I, I'm a minister. Um, I've um, looked back in the beginning of my calling as a minister and some of the things I've done and where I am. And then it kind of got put on pause. And I'm wondering, like, is this me going the Lord taking me back around and completing the work that he has started in me? And then here. This other job, this community job where I'm currently at, which pays equal and even more possibility range of me making more. And the thing with that. And so here I am. You got an opportunity to make even more and kind of. But I won't be talking, be able to possibly talk the Lord with people. Um, 
because uh, that's not going to be that. But the chaplain job, you know, not everyone is going to want spiritual uh, uh, guidance of any sorts. You know, not all people, but you will have those. And it's in hospice. So that's the other thing. It's a hospice chaplain. So people that are going to be dying. I, I, and, and I thought last night when I was sleeping and I woke up in the middle of the night, and I'm just thinking like, man, what, you, what, are, what are they doing? I'm thinking like, you know, there may be someone, you know, this is me thinking, there may be somebody that is dying that don't know the Lord, but because of me visitation and, and, and being a chaplain may help lead them to the Lord. So, and I was thinking that, that in that case, I mean, not saying it can't happen in this other particular job as well. But, you know, it's a pay cut. It's about 23. It'll be about a $23,000 pay cut for me for a year. And I'm like, OK, Lord, what is going on here? I mean, I still can make bills, but, you know, it's going to change your, the way you do things. Um, taking a substantial pay cut like that. Um, but I, I know that. My, you know, his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are, are not our thoughts. I mean, so the Lord does things different. So, but I, one thing I do know, I told him, I said, you know, Lord, please, you know, keep doors closed. Don't do this or that. But at the same time, Lord, I want to do your will. I want to do your will. I want to do whatever you said. If you want me to go to this chaplain job, hard as it's going to be, knowing that I'm going to take, and I'm walking away from a job that I can actually draw a pension from, now, I can still, my pension will be changed. I can draw it because I can put things on pause, the money that's there, draw it out at a late, you know, when I do reach retirement age, but it won't be, have accumulated um, from, you know, the eight years and beyond. Uh, now, now I, there is a retirement plan within the chaplain job, but then I would have to, you know, uh, and this, this stuff, but I don't know. I'm trying, I, you know, you're trying to be analytical. You're thinking things. What, what, what? I don't know what to do. I don't know. Do I want to call off the interview? What you know? So you guys gotta let me know what you think on this. Do I call off the interview and just go in and tell them for the city job? I mean the um, the job with the community coordinator job that you know I I, I just don't you know uh, you can take me out of the running for that um, because what I was gonna do was I was gonna go ahead and accept. Tell them I accept because what I don't want to do is make the de bad decision. Reject one, thinking I'm going to get the other, and then end up with nothing. And then I'm stuck right here because this opportunity, it is very difficult. There's some certain credentials that you need to get that I don't have yet to be in the chaplain realm because it's very strict. Um, I mean, I'm able to do it part time if I wanted to based on my degree and, and my CPE, my one unit of CPE training and things like that. But to go full time, it's like they are taking a chance with me. You know, it, well, it's the Lord. I know it's the Lord, I, I believe, to open that door because I started thinking, you know, once I'm with them, then I can possibly get the credentials because these are actual full time, you know, chaplains that's been around for a while. And, um, so, you know, I, I I don't know what to do. I'm confused. I don't, but I was thinking like, I'll take the chaplain job, go ahead and accept it, push back the start date, because I'm getting ready to go. We're going to, we're going to, uh, to Alaska for a cruise here in a few weeks uh, for the daughter's graduation. And that's our summer trip going to the coach. She wanted to go to the colder place, but that's our vacation. We love to explore things and do things fun and different. And push that date back possibly to the end of June. Somewhere in there, I already told him that, but uh, that it'll be somewhere in the middle. To, you know, I'm gonna see if I could get it down there, and then I was gonna go ahead and still interview with the other community job and see, because if there's six candidates, and maybe they're gonna narrow it down to three or something like that. But then, you know, I don't know. It's like I just want to make the right choice, because my heart is, as I did tell the wife, like if the money was the same. With the uh, with this community job as the chaplain, if the chaplain will be chosen with, uh, without a heart, in a heartbeat, but at the same time, it's just weird that they both happen at the same time. So I I, I just want to you know I just would like to know your your guys's thoughts on it. You know, just put it in the comments um, and let me know, and we'll talk about it, and uh, and we'll get back to attacking these false prophets. 
because you know a whole lot is going on and we're going to stay on them regardless of I'm chaplain or whatever the position is. We're going to still attack these frauds out there that are lying in the name of the Lord, calling them out and talk about the issues the church run away from and what else? Punch Satan right up between the chops. Evangelism for God is the channel. If you're new, consider subscribing, hit like, coming along for the journey. And to the next video, be prepared. We're going to talk something. I, I, I got a couple crazy things brewing. So we'll talk, but let me know what you guys think, okay? Let me know. And we'll talk soon. Bye.